first matter is the application transfer of the Wine and Mall Package Store license at 271 Brookline Street, held by Hanara Corporation to Memorial Drive Auto Service Incorporated, doing business as Memorial Drive Mobile at 816 Memorial Drive. Ellie Lockes, Jr. is proposed manager of record of a premise described as approximately 1,400 square feet on the street with two entrances and two exits. Good afternoon. Could you please state and spell your names for the record? Good afternoon. Michael Ford, uh, representing the uh, proposed license. With me is Eddie Lockes, L-A-K-K-I-S. To my immediate left is uh, Eli, Eli Lockes, Jr. And uh, we respectfully request a continuance uh, for a few grounds and some things that have come up last night. We can't hear. Yesterday. We can't hear him. If you could please speak up. Thank you. I will, uh, I'll do my best. Um, we are respectfully requesting a continuance uh, to another date so we can address uh, some certain matters, one of which they came up uh, yesterday when we were notified uh, that there was a requirement for rezoning uh, sign-off. I received that uh, request, I believe it was late yesterday, and we've been attempting to obtain that sign-off, uh, but we need to work with the building department to uh, get that. Uh, the second, uh, the second issue is the community. Madam Chair, is it possible for Petitioner to stand? No, I, it's really hard to hear him. Yes. yes. Really can't hear Why him. can't he stand over there? So okay, he hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you can please project, Councillor, whether you do that either by standing up and, um, but. And, and we would also ask anybody in the audience to please refrain from having private conversations so that everybody is able to hear. And you need to clear that doorway. Nobody can be in that doorway. Uh, I'm loath to use uh, a theater type voice uh, because you're the uh, b before me. But here's where we'll go. We're asking for a request for a continuance. The reason why we're asking for a request for continuance is that yesterday a zoning matter came up. Uh, we were notified yesterday that we would be required to uh, obtain and file a zoning sign off from the building. Uh, department, and we haven't been able to obtain that sign-off. Um, we need to work with them because this this issue of a uh, that it's a non-conforming uh, use, but it's something that's been in existence uh, for years and prior to any district uh, changing in the area. The second thing that has happened is we did do community uh, outreach. Uh, we had a lengthy, lengthy. Uh, meeting and there have been certain um, re requests uh, made and there were certain requests that uh, we were asking, you're not going to still going to go forward uh, with this. So we want to address uh, a lot of those and, 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 and rework things. Um, so Councillor, if I may, uh, in terms of the zoning sign off, I would reject your uh, petition to continue only because I think um, I think if you don't get zoning sign off, it's obvious that you know we can't grant the license, so that's one issue. But provided that you do, I don't want to delay this. Also, considering the amount of residents that came to speak on the matter today, I wouldn't put it off because of that. I could maybe defer the decision if the board were so inclined after we hear everything. In terms of the community aspect, if you're telling me that you want to continue it because you want to talk to the community and see if you're going to withdraw the application or if it's that you want to have more community conversations to convince the community for it, um, again, at that point, I would still want to hear the petition now and based on what we hear, maybe defer our vote on the matter, but I won't continue it on either of those. That's my vote. I agree. Okay. May I have one moment with my client? I agree also. Um, my client is asking to withdraw the application of that Okay, so the application has been withdrawn. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.